seeing the difference on the people after the haircut. You know, they come in looking down, you know, whatever. But after they get a fresh cut, you know, you know yeah. So it's just really the the joy it gives people. My friend, I actually did Corey. I call him Corey Cuts. I heard that he was gonna be cutting hair, so I decided I was like, man. I've been, I've been going to, you know, my barber for a long time. I don't really try nobody else, but my friend been cutting here for a long time, so let me support him and, like, try to get him out there and stuff. Mostly YouTube, you know, YouTube, and, and just practicing on, on, yeah, <laughs> on people. I also learned from other barbers, too, you know. I used to work at Debener Barbershop, so I learned here a lot of here, um, like, a lot of tips from different barbers and stuff. So we've had this clothing closet for quite some time and it used to have a lot more, it kind of looked like a thrift store and it was not being accessed as much as post pandemic, families were not coming in to utilize it and we had students who just wanted to cut hair and or needed their hair cut. So we decided that it is time to kind of like revamp this. We wanted to be more strategic and I think that's why we kind of created this space so it would be more of a service. We have a list of students and we have a vision of, of getting some people in and teaching students because we have a lot of students that would love to like, you know, uh, become barbers or stylists and stuff like that. All skills are important and I think math, math and science are going to be important in life, but like feeling grounded in who you are as a person is the most important thing in life and that like you can't be a good and like healthy human if you don't have like centering and mental health and support. So what I like about the barbershop is that it really speaks to what everybody wants. I mean, everybody wants to look nice. Everybody wants to feel fresh. Everybody wants to be seen in the light that they want to be seen in, right? So I think that um, providing that service um, at no cost and also providing that service by um, folks who have a connection to our community. Somebody somebody who's like trusted in the community, like who's who's grounded and who has built that trust in these kids to like cut their hair and bless them and give them free haircuts and make sure that they look good and stuff. Builds relationships and inroads with those students, with this community. It just makes things all the better. I mean, it really is a hub for the community. Education's great. There's always places to learn. There's not always places to feel welcome.